I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're gonna draw a cute little lamp. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start off our lamp with one line across the top. We're gonna turn that into a rectangle with curved ends. So two curved lines, just a little ways down, one line across. Next, we're gonna do the lamp shade. So we're gonna do two lines going down on a diagonal. On the top, we're gonna add a little half circle. That's just where the um, little knob usually on top to screw in and hold the lampshade on the lamp there. So we have our two lines down, and then we're gonna do one line across. And then you can go ahead and use your marker to go around those lines one more time and thicken them up. And that's just going to make them nice, bold, and beautiful. Once you're done that, we're gonna draw the lamp stand. So we're gonna draw two lines down. We're going to do a longer line across. Two lines down, across by the lamp stand. Now we're gonna draw one line across the middle there. And I'm gonna do a curving line on the stand. So we're gonna go down along the side, curve at the bottom. So down along the side, curve at the bottom. And these are gonna be for different color variations for shading. Go along the outside of this shape. So it's a letter, upside down letter T. And we're just going to bold it up so that way it stands out on the paper. So when somebody looks at it, they can see our beautiful drawing of a lamp. Great. Next we're gonna do the chain that turns it on. So we're gonna draw a series of, we're gonna do four small circles, one big circle, and you can go along the outside of this chain with your marker to thicken it up like that. And then draw a curving line on the inside and that will be for the shading on the sphere and finally we need to give our lovely lampshade a smile and a face so we're gonna start with an arching shape on either side like that then you're going to thicken up that line so it stands out so go over it a couple times Make it nice and thick. And these are the eyes. It is a very, very happy lamp. Okay. Under those eyes, we're going to draw an oval shape. Between the eyes, we're gonna draw one line across. Then we're gonna draw the letter U to make the mouth. Just 
just like that. And then we're going to draw three diamonds in the mouth, color them in, and this is going to create uh, the teeth. It'll make the appearance that there are teeth in the mouth, like that. Okay, and once you're done, you are ready to color. Okay, so I'm gonna use felt markers to color, and then I'll go back and highlight with some of my wax crayons. So, I'm gonna, I'm going to use yellow and orange for the lampshade, and then I'm going to use turquoise on the base. But you pick the colors that you like and that make you happy. So, uh, let's get started. Once my lampshade is done, I'm gonna grab the turquoise colors for the base and the chain. So I'm just picking two different colors. So you can use whatever colors you want. You just have to make sure you grab one lighter version and one darker version. Or if you only have one color, you just color lighter with one. So if it's a wax crayon, you press lighter or less firmly on the light areas and press very firmly harder on the dark areas. I'm going to do the dark first and then the light. You can use a white wax crayon for highlighting. So if anywhere that you want it to be having some highlights, you can use your wax crayon. That's going to brighten it up a little bit. So anywhere that you want to highlight, go ahead and use a white wax crayon. You could use a white pencil crayon, and then you can use black wax crayon for shadows, or you can use your gray felt marker. It's up to you. So. Add your shadows to finish up your lovely, lovely lamp. once you're done shading and highlighting your cute little lamp, your lamp 
is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at misartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.